All right, I'm going to draw myself. I haven't drawn anything today. This is probably not going to be great because you kind of, even when you do a lot of drawing, your body and your, I'm not, I don't really want to say mind because it's not like conscious, but your mind works out little tricks and you, you end up doing multiple things at once. You know, sort of scanning with your eyes, for example. While you're looking at one detail, you might be looking at a couple of others at the same time, which you can't really do when you first start drawing, I, I tend to find, because it's like warming up for, I don't know, a dance or something. Um, so, the first drawings are usually a bit crummy and a bit kind of, I don't know, a bit stiff. Um, and expressionless, they're kind of a bit scared. You can tell by lines, it's very difficult to jump in confidently. And I think you can see that when you look at the drawing. This is not just me, this is for everyone. Um, yeah, you, you can't really draw a full pout, you know. You end up being stiff and slow and unexpressive. Anyway, there's something going on here. As I say this, I'm trying to talking. I'm talking myself out of the rut of drawing stiffly. Um, I really do have a time limit on this video because, as ever, my phone, which I'm recording on, has a very small amount of memory because I made the mistake of buying the 16 gig instead of the 4 million gig which I should have got. Um, okay, then I had to speed up a little bit here because I don't know how much time I've got or have spent. Uh, I kind of like this already, actually. A uh, little trick um, is to own, not have all the drawing equally detailed. I think I've said this before. Or I, I think it before. <laughs> I've thought it before. <laughs> Maybe I haven't said it before. Um, Manet is a good one for this. If you look at his work, a lot of stuff he does, he, if he can't be bothered to draw, he just sort of scribbles and he gets away with it. So as I'm doing with the shoulders. Because if you have too much detail everywhere, it kind of flattens the picture. Whereas if you've got a bit of um, scribbly wibbles, like that, and a bit of nonsense elsewhere, then it sort of makes the other parts stand out a bit more. And it makes it, the picture just a bit more dynamic, in my view. Oh, we're, we're under three minutes. Okay, so there we go. There's proof I can draw stuff in three minutes. Um, I'll have a quick scan over, add a little bit of depth. The final touches are actually where you can either make it or break it. Um, let's try not to break it. Sometimes you can really add something special with a few little swishes or strokes of the pen. Or you can completely cock it up by adding a little moustache or a mark which makes them look 10 years older or something. Okay, as you can see here, maybe or maybe not, with each pen mark I'm putting down, you change the kind of depth of the picture, which is something that I, I'm sort of playing with at the moment. Anyway, I don't want to mess with that too much. I'm relatively happy with that. It's a more positive reflection of my face. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed watching. I'm going to try and post a bit more than I have been, because I think it's very good for me. And hopefully it provides something for you as well. Any comments, put them in the comment section. I will likely read them and then react to them. If you want me to draw you something or something like that. Cool. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. All right, there's the result. It looks a bit clunky, a bit distorted. But that shadow is rather annoying. But um, I'm relatively happy with it, to be honest, considering I haven't drawn all day and I, yeah, my heart really wasn't in it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm glad I did something. You can see a lot of little mistakes there, I'm sure. Have a little time to do some spot the difference. Time's up.